AEW Fight Forever recently released their Season 3 DLC with new wrestlers and new maps. Now I am someone who actually likes Fight Forever gameplay wise and I can have fun playing it but I have the same criticism of everyone else that this game does not have enough content and they aren't quick enough at releasing new content and as a result like many others I got bored of the game and I have periods where I dip in and out of playing the game before I get bored of it again. So I thought I'd come back to Fight Forever and try out the new Season 3 DLC. DLC, see if it's worth it and maybe if there's any chance it can help save this game or if there's anything at all that can save this game. Like and subscribe and let's get into it. So first thing first, I went right to the PlayStation Store. Yes, I'm still on the PS4, don't judge me. I bought myself the Season 3 Pass as well as the Season 2 Pass as I hadn't got that and I earned myself a cheeky outdated Tony Storm character. Like, come on man, she's been doing the timeless gimmick for nearly a year now and they have this completely outdated Tony Storm model. Buying the Season 2 Pass saved me $5 or else I was paying $12 for one character. One outdated character for $12. I also got myself a free DLC package. Wow, the freebie for the fans with five new music tracks and 10 new attires. How generous of AEW Fight Forever. We will definitely be discussing more about this later. For now though, let's focus on the Season 3 content, the new Season 3 content, and included in the Season 3 pass is three new characters and two new maps. But currently, all you've got is Swerve Strickland and the two new maps. The other two characters included are Claudio Castagnoli, who is dropping in early March, and Jamie Hayter, who drops in April. It's good that they finally got around to adding these three as it was long overdue, and I'll say early on right now that to me, Season 3 is probably the best season pass so far for AEW Fight Forever. I'll explain in a second why that's not exactly an amazing achievement, but what they've released with the Season 3 pass is some decent stuff. Gameplay wise, Swerve Strickland is a fine character to play as, he kind of controls the same as a lot of the other AEW Fight Forever characters, so a bit generic in that regard, but he looks like Swerve Strickland and he has the same moves as Swerve Strickland, so it's Swerve Strickland. There you go. I did have a hard time hitting the Swerve Stomp as you can see, but that one's on me. What brings this season pass to the top though for me is the two beach maps, because the two beach maps are genuinely great additions to the game and should have been there from the start. The beach maps in my opinion look stunning visually and the best part is they're interactive. You're able to actually go out and fight in the sea and hit moves on people and quite literally make a splash. It, it's sick. Honestly, it's cool. And the reason why it's great is because it's something that's new and unique to this game, which this game just needs so badly. There are no other wrestling games I can think of where you can fight on the beach. It's unique to fight forever, and they need more maps like this. More non-wrestling and interactive maps, like give us a Jericho Cruise map or anything like this. And I don't want to keep saying this over and over, but this really should have been in the game from the start. When AEW Fight Forever was in development, they cited No Mercy and the arcade style of wrestling games as the main inspiration for this game and as a player of those arcade wrestling games one of the main things i remember was all the awesome non-wrestling maps and areas and locations that you could play in people remember those kind of maps a lot more and those maps are replayed a lot more than just a generic arena with different branding depending on what show it is you know what i mean fight forever needed maps like this from the start to set them apart from the start it's not something that is seen in modern wrestling games as maps like these and so it was a missed opportunity not to put these in the start of the game but being as fair as possible at least they have it in now maybe too little too late though so with jamie hater and claudio castagnoli included this is probably the best fight forever season pass and the most bang for your buck however neither of these things are saying very much because the bar is very low and it's still overpriced these season passes shouldn't be any more than ten dollars and the singular characters shouldn't be anything more than like three dollars or if anything all of it should just be free. Not anything like, I don't know, $12 for a singular character. But hey, I mentioned earlier that AEW Fight Forever actually released a free DLC package, and it's called the Freebie for the Fans. 
It includes five new music tracks and ten new wrestler attires. Wowee. It reads almost like some sort of pathetic apology. Hey, sorry the game sucks, have some music. It's like when Bethesda gave all the Fallout 76 players some in-game currency as an apology for problems with the game, and it wasn't even enough currency to buy anything good in the game. Yeah man, what an insult. Freebie for the fans. Wow, look at Fight Forever doing it for the fans. It's just insulting the way they're trying to act like they're for the fans, just for giving away some free cosmetic items and in-game music, which is the complete bare minimum, all the while selling completely overpriced DLC and never listening to the fans. No matter how hard they try to spin it, AEW Fight Forever is not for the fans. And that's coming from someone who is an AEW fan and enjoys the gameplay on Fight Forever. And it's also unfortunate as an enjoyer of the game, until I get bored of it because there's so little to do, that I really believe this game is probably never gonna recover. I think the beach maps, the two beach maps, were a nice little step forward in the right direction. However, I think AEW Fight Forever is far too out of touch, and what they're trying to do to revive the game and the content they're releasing just isn't enough to do it. I think the only way for this game to possibly gain more players is, is to pump so much new content into it and release so much new content in the game, content that's free first of all, to the point where it feels like an entirely new game, a new experience, and there's a whole array of new stuff to do and hundreds of hours worth of new gameplay. Pretty much a No Man's Sky redemption story times a million. But with the rate they're going, it's not ever gonna happen and it's just too little too late anyway. People get bored of games so quick, and games are no longer the flavor of the month nowadays, but the flavor of the week instead. Fight Forever in particular had so little in the game upon release that people got bored quick. Like I'm talking within days, they ran out of things to do in the game. And those are players that will never come back. And the few loyal players that did stick around also eventually left and got bored. The online and competitive scene died because they failed to patch exploits and easy win techniques, and everyone else just got bored eventually or has dips in and out of the game like I do. Not having complex enough creation suites or community creations also hurt the game in the long run because it meant that we're relying on the game to give us fresh content, and look how reliable they've been. I also feel like Fight Forever was definitely relying a bit on the stadium stampede mode to kind of save the game and get the playing numbers back up, and while I enjoyed stadium stampede, it's got the same problem as the rest of the game where it just gets repetitive and you get bored of it very quick. And as well as that, it's also seen no updates. Apparently, we're in Season 2 of Stadium Stampede now, which I didn't know was a thing. I, I didn't even know Stadium Stampede had seasons, and that's probably because there's literally no difference between Season 1 and Season 2 of Stadium Stampede. It's the same map, same weapons, same everything. So, yeah. I wonder why players aren't sticking around. And all those reasons are why despite the fact the content they've released is good here, the game's still never going to recover, and it's still overpriced. I hope you guys enjoyed me giving my take on AW Fight Forever that you've probably heard a million times. I'm a fan of this game overall like I said, and I want it to succeed. However, I'm not a fan of their current release schedule and strategy of content, and I think they need to do a lot more to even have a chance of recovering a few players for this game, and I just don't see that ever happening, unfortunately. AEW Fight Forever is beyond repair. Thanks for watching this video, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, and keep on rolling.